What's good? It's your boy Tara Money, and tonight, yeah, tonight I'm gonna talk about a uh, carbon, no carbon footprint, and social scores within the metaverse or within the digital world. And I'm gonna explain why we really don't need you no know, weird world stuff added to the metaverse. But I am gonna explain certain things that cannot be allowed as well that's also included here in the real world that we can't pass on. So the reason why I said we should have no carbon footprint or no social score within the metaverse, because first of all, it's a digital world. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want to use a 3D headset, it's better off using a sc screen. And the per perfect screens to use when it comes down to, maybe it do include t tablets and phones. I mean, they might have a carbon footprint on tablets and phones, but it should be not. In, it should not be included in the metaverse. What I'm trying to say, but you know, carbon footprint is connected to everything. But hopefully, not in our home devices. You know, when it comes to having uh, smart homes in the future. But I'm trying to figure out. See, I was watching this video on YouTube and it was explaining carbon footprint. And sometimes you got to stay within a house for in order for your carbon footprint to recover. Now, when it comes to social scores, you know what I'm saying? You might have to be stay in the house because it can affect your money. Also, I found out it can affect your Wi-Fi or your internet connection, which is you need internet connection to be connected to the metaverse. I, it just, it's just that uh, when they said that, I just like, you know, I'm about to live through computers. I refuse having a bad social score. If my if it's going to cause my internet to run slow, because now my internet, it went a dollar up. So that tells me by next year, it's going to go up to $100, which means I got really got to save money. I was going to buy some games, but I'm like, nah, I don't have enough money. And by next paycheck, I might not have enough, but I am going to pre-order Street Fighter Six. I just checked out the uh, showcase. And behold, lo and behold, your own custom character can fight other custom characters, which means... I'm going to have to look at some weird shit fighting these characters, especially the ones that are deformed. You know what I'm talking about. If you saw the beta and saw them, it's going to creep me out. But y'all going to see me play. I'm going to be a content creator when it comes to Street Fighter VI. I don't know which master I want to choose, even though the, even though Cammy and Chun Li look interesting. If we can modify the outfits and put them in bikinis and stuff, then you know, I would. I don't know if I would have it on YouTube or probably on Twitch, but I might add it on YouTube. It just, yeah. It might get dem well. I don't got my channel monetized, so I don't, I don't think they will care. But if I reach a thousand subscribers, just based upon Street Fighter Six and me being a battle hub a lot, and um, you know, I, I can do it through the cloud. Basically, mostly I'm gonna do it through the uh, cloud gaming. I mean, this is the reason why my Xbox I. But let me just continue with the uh, carbon footprint and the social score. Carbon footprint, yeah, you're gonna basically have to stay in the house in order for your carbon fo footprint to recover. It's just like. It can take two years. And the reason why I say it could take two years, that's how long the pandemic lasts, two years. So if it takes two years for your carbon footprint, that means you got to stay in the freaking house as long as two years or an apartment, wherever, wherever place you live in, or basically a smart home. When it comes to social scores, that's, you know, it can affect your money. But the main thing, it will affect your Wi-Fi. So when it really comes down to it, I am going to fall. I'm already following the rules here in America, but when it comes to social scores and stuff, I'm mainly going to be living through computers and shit, I'm not going to even freaking go outside that much, if it, when it comes down to carbon and footprint, and definitely, definitely social score, but if they add that to the metaverse, I'm going to be real pissed, and I'm going to be, I'm, I'm, I will be, I'll be crying and shit, I mean, none of that should not be added to the metaverse, especially, you know, slowing someone Wi-Fi down, that, that is unacceptable, if you got to, a uh, bad social score and the damn carbon footprint, but if they add carbon footprint to the internet use, even with YouTube, I don't know. I'm gonna have to read books for that one. But if they put carbon footprint on the damn light bulb. I'm like, I know they're gonna put carbon footprints on heaters and stuff, which means you gotta wear hoodies and the sweatpants in order for you to get warm when it's winter and stuff. But uh, it, you know, it's hard for me to explain because you know, see, if it comes to that point, they're gonna add it to the metaverse. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to come out with basically a movement to give, give that, to not add that. Cause what, you know what I'm saying? Cause just, just look at the end of Ready Player One. He cut, he cut it to, to two or two or one days for people to be, the people be allowed in the metaverse. What I'm saying is there should be no carbon footprint 
and social scoring in the metaverse. Now, when it comes to to the world, not just America, but the whole world, when it comes to adding that to the real world, I support that. I support that full fledged. Like I said, when it comes to social score, if it's, it's going to slow my internet down, I'm not really going to go outside that much. And besides, I'm not even driving. And um, when it comes to carbon footprint, I'm definitely staying in that house, if, even if it got to take me two years for, the, for it to fully recover. But I know you how you going to make money. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to push out. Once I push out that Street Fighter VI uh, gameplay content, thank God it's coming to Xbox. You know, thanks to Sony trying to keep that kept Street Fighter Five on PlayStation, which is, was terrible. But, um, you know, that's what I'm going to have to do for now. I'm going to prove to you what it's like to have a second life in the digital world. But but really, though, you know, I am going to go against the carbon footprint and social score if, it's, if they add it to the metaverse or basically the digital virtual plane. Because here's the thing, they can't even add that to the astral planes for those who uh, astral project and lucid dream, even entering the dream plane. People who are astral projecting and stuff like that, no, they can't put a carbon footprint or even a social score on that. It's up to the spirits, whatever realm or dimension you enter to. You know what I'm saying? So if they cannot put a carbon or a social score in that, they should not add it to the metaverse if you're trying to get what I'm saying. But, you know, that, but at the same time, that's all I want to say right now. I can't even think something out of my head, truly, but I think I already said what I had to say. I mean, say. But, uh, but yeah, I really hope they don't add carbon footprint social score if they add it to the real world i'm okay with that but if they add it to the digital world i'm not okay with that so that's one thing i want to i want to say so you know look out for my videos i don't know it's tomorrow yeah tomorrow's friday so be looking out for my videos peace